Welcome to our series on power core training videos. This video is about the throttle menu. We're on the home screen, so we hit the menu button and enter our passcode. And using the down arrow, highlight throttle, hit enter. Engine throttle type is the first item. It defaults to J1939, which is TSC1 throttling. If you hit enter, you have all kinds of choices for mechanical engines um, and even a Thompson actuator that, that operates off proprietary CAN messaging. So uh, you can have pull sync deck for our throttle actuator, analog output, uh, or no throttling. Independent TSC1 source address. This was really put in for John Deere because John Deere uh, in a lot of cases has two different source addresses that you have to claim for TSC and a separate one that's different for the regen process. So this is where you would enter in your throttling TSC source address and then another source address in, in another menu for your uh, regen. Manual target step size. In video one, we talked about the target RPM, which is an internally generated target RPM we throttle the engine to, and that, that the size of that jumps up or down depending on where we're going with the throttle is adjusted here. In manual, it's 25 RPMs per step. Every time you hit a button, the target RPM is going to go up 25, which you can raise or lower as needed. Auto target RPM size is the same value, 25. Throttle rate increase and throttle rate decrease uh, defaults to 100 RPMs per second. That's how fast we're going to try to track that target RPM. You can adjust that up or down if you get uh, maybe some hunting uh, in auto, uh, or it's not reacting fast enough, it's lagging too far behind the target RPM. You can adjust these two to, to take care of that. So I want to show right now in this, in this training video, I think we should talk about if I choose Pulse Ink Deck, because I have a manual engine or mechanical engine, excuse me, full sync deck, I'm going to get something down here called a dead band. You don't get that with the, with the TSC throttling. That means if we throttle an engine and we're within 25 RPMs of our target RPM, we're happy. We quit throttling. You can raise or lower that as required. And we also have pulsing outputs, ink and deck pulse outputs that you don't have when you choose J1939 throttling. And a delay, you get a certain amount of pulse out to our throttle actuator, and then a delay in between pulses. So it, it, you get a few more set points depending on what you choose for a throttling type. Well, this, this concludes our throttle menu. Thank you very much.